Yeah, my mom is a huge supporter of y'all show. What? No, no bro. Yeah. You, bro, you, you capping. Lying, bro. Nah, you capping, bro. Like, nah, you know, my mom listens. Ah. She, she's the one that keeps me updated on what's happening, bro. Yeah, she's like a... Uh, wow, a nah, no, bro. So, you <laughs> wake up from your snooze. Wake up. Come here with the crew. You know who it is, what it is, what we do. It's the crew, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's the crew. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It's the crew, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's the crew. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Stop the snooze, turn the crew. We got news, we got tunes. We're gonna hit you with the truth. We ain't like the mother dudes. All the glory to Jesus, cause of him, we making moves. Oh, yeah, we done found our groove. You can come get with it too. It's the crew. So, <laughs> KB, does does she know that we've actually interviewed you before, five, six years ago? Do you remember this, Oh, sir? he don't. He doesn't remember Oh, this. he doesn't. I remember. Five, six years ago? It, it was yeah. me. It was me. Actually, you yeah. No hair on your face or something, bro. That's yep. No hair. Tank top. Uh, we came to your. Uh, uh, it was a show in Dallas. This was the. Uh, this first, was the his first solo. This was the tomorrow we live. Yeah, the okay. tomorrow we live concert in Dallas. Probably about seven years ago at this point. Yeah. But, okay. okay. Bro, probably uh, yeah. eight years ago. Probably about eight years ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, well, somewhere around. Decade ago. So yeah, right, right, really. right. Somewhere around that, but. This was KB with the Mohawk. Yeah. You, 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 uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, right. We yeah, man. We got we got we got pictures and stuff, man. So it's kind of and we actually uh we actually pray for you. We um, did. That's what's up, bro. Yeah. We stopped yeah. doing that, which is why we got more ratchet, but you know, <laughs> we stopped we stopped uh, praying for artists. <laughs> yeah, 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 we should have kept we should have kept doing that, and then we probably wouldn't have been, you know, that's uh, funny. Pro problematic. <laughs> Hold on, man. Uh, do we sound like? Oh, here we go. Hold on, let me look at it. Just give me a second, KB. That's crazy, sure bro. I got this. That's crazy, man. Full, full, uh, full That's circle, funny. full circle moment. He ain't even, he ain't even remember that. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know why. I, I, I just feel like uh, eight years ago is like a whole fuzzy. Thing. Maybe I've been punching yeah. too much. Hey, know. so you know what, man? Hold on. No, that's actually a good place to start. Okay, so really quickly. Yeah, it's popping crew nation. You already know who it is, what it is, and what we do, baby. And we have the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Burgess in the building, yes, sir. The undisputed, yes, sir. CHH champ of the world. Yes, sir. He scooped all the belts. Let's go. <laughs> KB, what's good? Uh, Y'all are wild, man. What the hell <laughs> having me, man. I'm honored to be here. Seriously, yes, man. it's sir. a pleasure, bro. It's a pleasure. Bro. Hold on, hold on. We found out. That it, it is is it Mrs. Burgess or Sister Burgess? Is that is that your mom? Found oh, yeah. that she's a fan. Uh huh. Yes. Miss Burgess is a fan. My mom, my mom loves the universe. Man, that's, that's crazy. Love, man. That's love, man. Um, hey, well, it's a crew. Please be sure to tell her that we appreciate yeah, her real, support and appreciate her watching us. And Absolutely. you know what I'm saying? It, it means a lot, man. She, she's going to watch this interview. Right, right. So what? we got to make sure hey, we, gotta make sure hey, we nice. Right. We got to make sure we nice no, to KB. No, no, wait, wait, we don't want wait, Mama Burgess. No, we don't want Mama Burgess coming after us. Hold on. Play about me. Hold on. No big. No, no, no. Look, no big deal. Just got Obama playlisted. Uh -huh. But we don't care about that. Uh -huh. We don't care about that. Why? Because Mama Bird just rocks with the crew. Yeah, exactly. What? Let's, Let's go. That's what we know. That's what I mean, shouts out to no big deal. That is a very big deal. <laughs> but I'm just saying, man. <laughs> It ain't Mama Burgess, you feel me? Man, it's, let's go. Levels to this. this when, when you hear things like that, man, when, when you got artists like coming to you saying, yo, like, uh, you know, my mom's listening to you, everything like that, like yeah. that puts a different perspective mm -hmm. to it. That, that lets you know that, like, like, you know, people are paying attention. It's one thing for the artists yeah. that you look up to, yeah. you know what I'm saying? To, yeah. to say that they watch your work, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But to say, yo, when that artist say, yo, my mom's watching you, like, different. Yeah. That's, yeah. A different that's a different type, type of level of. Yeah. Facts, facts, yeah. bro. So look, man, I just want to just jump into this. We were talking and you said, you know, eight years ago was a little bit fuzzy for you. Um, we interviewed you uh, that long ago, man. It was actually one of our, actually our first uh, major interview. Yeah, that was. I, I, yeah, it really, it really was. Yeah, that was. Um, yeah. You had just, you had just signed to Reach Records. That's kind of wild though. As you were signing to Reach Records, you signed on as Lecrae was kind of making this transition out of christian hip-hop how was that for you like like were you kind of rocked were you kind of like confused or you know how was that for you somebody who was on fire in tampa you know yeah. what i'm saying hga movie going crazy all you wanted to yes, do was sir. share the gospel 
Uh, yeah, Eric is spirit. Yeah, hey, day one, day one's yeah. right here. Yeah, let's day go. Right here, let's go. Yeah. But yeah, how how was that for you? Yeah, so so uh, I think uh, when Lecrae dropped Church Clothes one, uh, that's when he was kind of I, I wouldn't term it as transitioning outside of Christian hip hop as opposed to initially it was more so I want there to be space at the table for folks who. Uh, or outside of kind of the Christian community in, in yeah. ways uh, in ways that aren't strictly evangelism. Because let's be clear. I mean, I, I ironically was listening to Thizzle yesterday and uh, listening to his uh, Chronicles okay. of the X Hustler. Yeah. Um, oh, a classic. It's a classic album. And it's very clear who the audience yeah. of that was, 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 was non-believing people. I mean, it was, he, he was Facts. going after uh, folks who listened to, in, to the mainstream or, or would be in the main. I don't know if it's, it, I guess it's mainstream fans. Yeah. So we've always had a bit towards evangelizing uh, those who are outside. I'm here because of that. Somebody made yeah. an album where they were evangelizing people for, who were not inside the Christian circle. Uh, so I think that's always been a bit, but we didn't necessarily make music uh, that was just celebrate the common graces uh, or talking about, um, you know, things that are happening, like uh, a veteran returning home from, from war, a soldier returning yeah. home from war, or uh, suffering in, you know, uh, Jason had a record where he talked about abuse uh, in his family and in his yeah. wife's life. We, we weren't rapping a whole lot about that kind of more. Yeah, that's a fact. And that's not, and it's not just simple. I think some people will critique that and say, oh, y'all yeah. didn't care about that stuff until it became right, right. popular. Part of it is we were children making records. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. We exactly. Making, we hadn't lived yeah. long enough. We hadn't been. Yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a fact. Uh, yeah. I mean, you, there was an awakening that that you are going to hear album to album yeah. where our concerns will diversify because we right. diversify as people. We mature. Facts. But anyways, all that yeah. to say, I think that's Cray was more wanting to open up the door to have other folks at the table, and I think that where he and I debated a lot uh was really uh, uh, around how uh we communicated to other folks what it was that we were doing i Ooh. stand by every record that yeah. Grace put out I, I I, I, look, okay. in fact speaking of that i was listening to him yesterday too i kind of had a christian uh hip-hop ride home from the show from fort myers yesterday with yeah. my boys and uh yeah I, Cray is still one of my favorite artists um, in fact, if I if I walk to the, I think if if I, I might fight here soon. If I do, I'm probably gonna walk out to a Lecrae song. Probably. Oh, wait a minute! Oh. Is that an exclusive? Is that, is that an exclusive? exclusive? Let's go! Let's get it! Let's go! I might fight. Ooh, that's yeah. early too. We normally yeah. have to drag exclusives out, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah man. we had a lot of. So we it was. I think for me and Cray, it was also me trying to figure out the relational piece because the Cray has been, even before I met him, this massive influence in my life. Uh, and then when I first signed the reach, I saw him as like a mentor uh, and, uh, and I still see him as a mentor, but I'm just saying, I'm also trying to figure out, well, what does this mean for me now that I'm here? Yeah. And we're going somewhere else. Right. Uh, that's what, yeah, that's I what I- In a lot of ways, a lot was lost in translation. Um, I think if there was, if, if we had better tools to sort of communicate to the public and each other, there yeah. might have been a lot less um, uh, friction. Yeah, a lot as less as... friction across yeah. the board. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, because uh, I think at the end of the day, um, we, uh, we 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 find ourselves in a similar place. Uh, and and speaking of this new album coming out, Craig HGA two, talk lead, about it. Yeah, HGA two, the lead track on the album is a song called Miracles. With Cray and I, it's nice, and yeah. uh, and I am super excited uh, about what our decade-long friendship means. Yeah. We are brothers. We have not seen eye to eye at times. We yeah. have had moments where we didn't trust one another, but mm -hmm. every single one of them, we have worked through through confession, repentance, reconciliation, Let's go. tears. Let's go. Uh, I was just yeah. at a place in Atlanta called West Egg. What I mean two weeks ago for a video shoot and we went to one of the restaurants that me and I meet me and Lecrae reconciled in and I wow. texted my homie I said hey I 
I, I love this place because of what it means to me. And they were yeah. talking, he started talking about the food. The food was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hold on, that's yeah. not, hold on, let me finish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think my relationship with Cray is just a great testament of, yeah. of God sustaining and how it is absolutely the way of the kingdom to to to, to love one another, bear yeah. with one another, to continue to sharpen one another. Um, to listen to one another, yes. to get the relationship to solid places. So yes. I'm just very grateful for the, for the, for the man Lecrae Moore, uh, yeah. the goat in this thing. Okay, because I was going to ask yeah. you. Nice. I was going to ask you if if he the goat, but it, it, he's an undisputed goat. Yeah, but yeah, uh, you know I mean, there's, hey. there's multiple yeah. goats from different. Right, 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 right. Yeah, but he's he's the goat. Yes. Yeah, I'm I'm just saying. Right. There's goats, but he's the goat. I'm I'm just saying. I'm just calling it what it is. One of the goats. That's what I'll say. Let's go. It's kind of uh, interesting that you brought that up uh, about your relationship with Cray because we actually had this conversation with Cray we did. a few months ago about what do you do to make sure, obviously, you know, uh, which we'll get into that um, in more in depth a, a little bit later, but obviously um, leaving Reach Records and, and going to a label, a big label like Sony Music. How yeah. did you make sure, how was those conversations like with Lecrae to make sure everything ain't spin out of control yeah. in terms of rumors, in terms of the messiness? What is those conversations like with those guys, hey, to make sure, you know, hey, you know, the, the we have the relationship, but, you know, this is a business move. So yes. what, what is that conversation like? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. Um, I'll say that uh, I have spent... I mean, I'll, I mean, dozens and dozens of hours working through differences uh, with, yeah. um, with, 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 with several of my brothers. And we've done it collectively. We've done it one on one. When I, I left Reach Records, uh, not disgruntled. I was not disgruntled leaving. In fact, I told that to the folks at Sony, that if, if this is going to make sense for where I feel like God is calling me, because, yeah. uh, you know, you, you have to recognize that I'm not here like these people don't get it. They don't want to. They don't know who they are. I, right. I, right. Not right. My, yeah. the, I, I was not disgruntled at all. Ben Washer, who I have a very good relationship owner of Reach Records. Yeah. Um, we shed tears together over over my leaving. Um, and mm -hmm. uh, and and because there was genuine love and genuine restoration, man, mm, I yeah. cannot. Right, right. Yeah. This is the gospel, fellas. Yeah. The, 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 this, this is what it means to be in Christ, that we are reconciled reconcilers. Yeah. And there's no need for reconciliation if there isn't a difference of opinion, a different of, difference of conviction, and real offense. You need to do a lap. Talk to him, you KB. Need to do a lap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Talk to him, yeah. KB. Yeah. And, uh, and, I, and I, just, I just rejoice that uh, through things that I won't get into, things that will that I'll take yeah. to to my grave or that will stay within our community, yeah. ways in which we have not been great to one another. But I have seen the work of the Spirit mend before I left Reach, and mm, so I, I, I will say that yeah. the leaving was a send off. It was a blessing. Obviously, the 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 you know, and I think they won't mind me saying this. They did not want me to leave. Um, and, oh, yeah. and it was not an easy decision. Shocker. Um, yeah, shocker. They didn't they want KB to leave. leave. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm just saying that I, it, it, for, for, for me, there was, there was a bigger burden beyond the, the ancillary or even yeah. peripheral or differences that we might have had. There was a bigger vision that I believe Christian hip hop is a net positive for the world. The world like needs that. more Christian hip hop individuals yeah. who are living out the Christianity that they're rapping about, rapping about yeah. that changed my life. Yeah. I will never not, I'll never stop believing that that isn't great for the world and we need more of that. So yeah. we need there to be multiple. We don't need to just have a few guys that dominate the entire market that suck up all of the money that's yeah. available yeah. that are making all the money, money that's available. Uh, to, they, they just walk into the room. That's what I felt like, like Christian hip hop is in this dark room and there's a small doorway. And yeah. in that doorway, <laughs> there's about one to two artists that, yeah. that some light will get past them into the room and we're all scrapping in the light. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That yeah, goes yeah. beyond them. 
I want to knock the door down. I want to blow blow off the roof. Yeah. The, the, Just knock the, the wall out. Walls, yes. Yeah, yeah. So that there are, and that's what I do. That's you. And you want to know what KB does? What I do is I in front, I empower you. You you come around me. I find out ways to make you more money, to give you more opportunity, to help you more be more faithful to Jesus and your wife. Yes, That's what I do. I'm an accelerant. I love it. Spiritual yes, flourishing. Yeah. And, um, and that's I thought I, I and I, I think that the Lord has honored that, that we need people to step out and go do that by expanding the market. Yeah. Uh, and that was a, a bigger burden among other things, but yeah. that was a bigger burden for me to go out and begin to establish another kind of real estate outside of simply the, the place that we've always been used to. So I like so I like that you say that because um, we interviewed Scooty Wop this year and Scooty Wop was very adamant um, saying that you were very instrumental. Um, you and Wes were very instrumental and him getting on with Sony. Um, yeah. so, to, so to see you say that, hey, that's that's what I'm trying to do. That's my mission, to put people on and get us in places that's, that's bigger. No, yes. you don't have to just sign the capital, you know, because they were really scooping up all the Christian artists. But, you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, we don't have to just sign, you know, do this. There are other ways. Hey, I know this guy. Um, so it's, it's really good to see that. But I do want to jump into this album. We talked about the Miracles record, which is um, really, really dope, man. But I've noticed, man, you were a bit more transparent on this album than I've ever really heard you. I didn't know my guy was like shot at and dodging bullets and different things like that. Like, that's crazy. No. I mean, hold on, hold on. <laughs> that's wild, man. And he was, he was, man, he was a stick up kid. And uh, he was, dang, like, what kind of. <laughs> You, hey, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about miracles. When I was yeah, 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 yeah. Silhouettes, like that. Those were yeah. not my stories. I, okay, I was, okay, I telling, okay. I was telling stories of of, of, it, of people in my community. Okay, have, and that's happened to. Now, I, I have been through the accident thing. I, I was yeah. hit by a car when I was 12, 13 years old, something like that. Yeah, and uh, went through the windshield. Was terrible, and walked away with 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 with, with virtually no injuries. So yeah, that that there's that even that that still wasn't my story, but. I did go very transparent on this record with my daddy wounds. Yeah, I, I yeah. talked about think how I'm thinking, how I'm dreaming, that kind of thing. So you're right on, right there for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, but just in, just in general, like I said, I mean, you're you're very transparent in this. I love the fact that you found a way to like fuse uh, worship and rap. Yeah. It, it, now there now there are several there are a couple artists that do it, um, but it's not something that we see as because in the church you know that's the devil's music or whatever the case is mm. can't be doing all of that shouts out to kirk franklin he took those stripes first i believe um mm. because he was really trying to fuse you know he, he was trying to get it all together yeah what was it about that you are a worshiper i i hear it in your voice i hear it when you talk you know what i'm saying you always talk like you're having a testimony um and it seems like when you make music you just want your moment with god right mm. so what why was it such a a plant purposeful for you to fuse worship and hip hop. Yeah, man. I, I think um, for sure. I'm, I'm always trying to create music that is, you know, in a, a, a projection of who yeah. I am. So I, you know, some things about me, number one, I love Jesus. So that, mm -hmm. that, that I, I, for me is my burden to help other people love them in yeah. my music. So that's going to be there. I am a husband. I'm a, a father. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm also uh, a, a a a a man that that likes to fight. I'm, I'm a boxer. Yeah. Um. You know. I, I. All of these things are going to be present in my music. It's going to sound like stuff you can walk out, and walk to the ring to. Right. 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 Gonna, fight music. Yeah. It's going to yeah. sound like stuff you can train to because that's where I'm at. Um. It's also diverse. I have Afro Latino children. I live in a very diverse community, uh, multi-ethnic, multinational, multi-generational, um, and, and it's and it's all these different styles. Like that's my favorite kind of food. I love fusion food. I love New Orleans mixed with you know Vietnamese, with you know uh, Pacific Island. Like I, I yeah. love fusions, and I think if I could be so bold, that God <laughs> Go ahead. fusions too. I think God 
is as 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 one for himself a multi-ethnic multinational uh multi-generational bride yeah that, yeah, that, yeah. That, big facts that, that indeed encompasses the diversity this is what we see in the trinity mm -hmm. the one and the many one yeah. god three persons i love diversity bro and yeah. because that's who i am you're gonna feel it through the different aspects of my life bubbling up in the music and worship is a big key part of that i've followed you know i've listened to worship songs going into very dark places and doing very dangerous things for the kingdom of god i told you he was a sticker and, kid <laughs> oh he said for the kingdom of god <laughs> my bad <laughs> oh bro I'm a school boy, man. Yeah, uh, yeah, nah, nah, nah. nah that's really cool dope. Ass, I mean, cool I've always hands, said, though, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I, I've always said, going years back, that you were probably the best at beat switches. Period, and just huh. and where you think wow. it's going one direction, and then it just switches up and takes you a whole nother different direction, wow. and you're just killing it. Um, did you think so far as the kind of gospel flips and everything? Did you think that that was something that was missing within the space? Um, because I hadn't really heard anybody do it um, as many times as you as you have um, as you have done it. Man, I really love the way you put that, brother. Um, I, I hadn't thought of it that way, but I think probably subconsciously you you are. I, I also am trying to what is what is not being said, uh, what's not been said or not been done. Mm -hmm. That 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 also is underneath everything that I'm doing too. So that that's gonna come out. But let me just say this though, brothers, that I I can't sit here and take a, a lot of credit for uh, really my body of work over the last th uh, three four years. Uh, uh, Kardak drums. Let's give him his yeah, flowers. Yeah. Let's give him yeah. his flowers. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. Big, yeah, sure. yeah. Kardak. Yeah. Many flowers to Kardak. Many flowers to We Are the Good Music. Yep. Uh, led yeah. by yeah. Wes Ryder. He also uh, uh, works with uh, with Quentin. Um, I, I, these men have understood me and my sound better than I have. Yeah. And they have visioned where I needed to go musically better than I have. And that, the, the, us coming together, that that's basically the only producers I've worked with for the last three years, a little bit with Dirty Rice on, uh, a song, uh, on, uh, a, there's another project coming after this project. There's some music on there that's not on this album. Another exclusive! exclusive. We got two! We got two! We got two. Oh, two. Oh, two. Let's go! Oh, come on, man! Amazing. Come on! Amazing. But uh, but yeah, but for the most part, these 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 are my friends. Uh, by God's grace, uh, they they are um, they love Jesus. They, yeah. they, they they love me. Love their families. Is vice versa. We have been able to fund, uh, you know, I'm sorry. I, I, I have to say this. This is who I, when I'm discipling men, yeah. I talk about economy, the, the ways yeah. in which you no, industry, the ways in which you are able to earn for yourself and your family. That's a part of God's provision. My daughter just walked in. So y'all, y'all probably gonna hear her scream. So, uh, <laughs> That's all right. That's all wait, good. baby girl. I, I, just a second. She's daddy's girl, daddy's girl. So hey, trust I, me, her, we can't we can't film a whole episode without his three kids Damn. going going crazy, going right. crazy. So it's all good. Yeah. We and love well, them. We well, love them. Well, and then on top of that, they're actually fans. So right, uh, right. like like of Christian of Christian hip hop. So yes. uh, yeah. So, so I was just gonna say real quick, bro, that I pro I, I I it brings great spiritual encouragement to me to know that. We have been able to to funnel tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars over the years wow, into dope. the bro these brothers' lives, and nice, vice versa wow. for us yeah. to continue to invest back into the kingdom. God has provided for us and our children through yeah. us working with each other in community. That, in addition to all the other things, so I think that this man, God has just blessed me with these brothers. Uh, and and uh, and 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 their various influences to really be able to put together such a a diverse catalog and um, yeah and and I and I'm, and I'm hoping that that it is something that blesses people 
for many, many years to come. It's got everything on it. Like, like I mean, yeah. it really, it, you know, obviously you released the drill record. You was like, eh. You know, let me just crazy. go ahead and get that out there. Crazy oh, flip, oh first of all. Crazy. But, but you know what uh, I'm saying? You threw that out there, but you got your gospel flips. You know, there was a lot of talk about how you flip CCM records and, you know, the way you rap. No, you know, you heard it, KB. Uh, Come on, you heard it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I love the fact that you was like, you doubled down on it. You was like, no, this is what yeah. I'm called to do. But yeah. Because you're able to give a, a a gumbo, if you will, style like you've given this album, this is the way you're able to perform at Mike Todd's conference, Passion, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. they get you get booked for the hood. Uh, like, this uh, is the way you, because you do have something. By the way, that dancer record, that record is yeah. bananas. Thank you, guys. Shout out to Kardak and, and Nico Emig, for sure. Man, yeah. that, and, that record and is Uncle bananas. Fred. Uncle Fred. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right, right, hey, right. wait. Uncle yes, Fred sir. has always been hip hop in influence. You you can hear it, you yeah. know, through through the thump of the bass. Like yeah. that, that's Fred. You know what I'm saying? So I, y'all were a match was, made in heaven for real. Was that that record? Was that one where y'all was like, okay, we got something here. We gotta stand behind this one and push this one and, and shoot a music video for it. Like as soon as, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I knew that that was the one. I'm like, it makes sense. This one makes uh, sense. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, man, honestly, again, trusting my team and uh, all the singles that were decided upon, all the music videos has, has been there. In fact, th their decisions in terms of I'm a part of them, but I, if if I get outvoted, even if it's with my own stuff, unless I'm like, y'all are way off. We ain't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, I've trusted them. And yeah, uh, yeah. so uh, Danza was one of those those joints that we have, by God's grace, has have a growing influence in Latin America. Yeah. Um, and uh, we, uh, and Kardak in his community, I mean, they, they do this, man. They believe if you meet Puerto Ricans and Dominicans and Cubans, and uh, these yeah. folks bleed their countries, man. Yeah. And they are, yeah. I've never met people that are more their thing. I am not as black as they are Puerto Rican. Or, <laughs> uh, so, so I think having that authenticity, bringing that to the table, and then this heart for Latin America and the struggles of Latin America, because I am in a Latin American family um, yeah, with, with, right. with, with, with Hispanic children. Yeah. Um, I it, it's just it, it hits it hit to, to make that kind of music. It just makes sense for me. And they want to throw the weight behind it. Yeah, so yeah. there's uh, by God's grace, there's uh, a lot of traction in Latin America with the record. And um, and I'm excited. See you later. I'm excited to uh, go down. Uh, and uh, be with my people and perform it. I Ooh, did go to Brazil. that's gonna go crazy. That's, I mean, that's yeah. gonna go KB. Like your your first of all, your energy when you perform it is bro, already. You taking my question, oh, bro? My, you're taking you're taking my question. No, I'm no, no, because no. he, talk, he talking about going down. And so I, exactly, I, I was I was okay. okay. All right, was go, go, I, I'll give it to you, bro. Listen, I'll give it to bro, you. Go listen. ahead. You know I gotta talk my stuff because yeah. what have I told you for years? Yeah, he's that the, KB yeah. is the best. It, he's yep. my favorite concert Stop performer, it. mainstream or CHH. Yep. Oh, yep. It doesn't matter his energy, what uh, what he puts into a performance as a whole. I, I feel like he's yo. You still changing clothes mid set to me? You still changing clothes mid set? I take my like, video off. That's it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, bro. Oh, he, bro. bro. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's to me, it's Travis Scott and KB. KB puts that type of energy yeah. into his sets, mm -hmm. like Travis Scott. Um, minus oh, my, 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 minus the uh, <laughs> <That's> the mic. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, <laughs> right, right. My, minus the uh, uh stampede, the, right, the stampede yeah. and, and and um and that that craziness. We, you know, we, hey, no, when we was yeah, at yeah. the concert, no, when we was at the concert, remember uh, his wife got elbowed in the head, not KB's, but uh, uh, Jonathan's. Jonathan's wife oh, got yeah. elbowed in the head at the right, concert. Right. It was, was it the B? It was the, was it was the, the yeah, five Unashamed Five. Unashamed Not, five yeah, yeah, Unashamed Five. When y'all was in right. Dallas. The record takes all responsibility for that. <laughs> <laughs> was it the Now They Know joint? Yeah, it was the, I think <laughs> it was. Now They Know Video, yeah. <laughs> in Dallas. <laughs> but, now, but, no, go but, ahead. But no, man, I, I say all that to say, are you, is this what you, is this your thought while making these types of records is, how it's going to go live in concert like is yes. this how you structure your albums like this one we got to do this one 
on stage. Yes. We got to do. And I know this part right here, this is when I'm going to do this. Yeah. This is when, yeah, yeah. like, is that kind of your process? I want to know your process into putting on a performance because I've thought about this for years. Yes, absolutely. And and also shout out to my, my drummer. Uh, I call him Moses, uh, but Maurice Fonville. Uh, Moses is uh, my, my musical director along with drumming. Uh, so oh, yeah. if you think like at Adam Blackstone or like a Justin Timberlake or, or even like in film Hans Zimmerman, his yeah. that's his style. Mm. And so for the last you know seven years, he's brought all of that to my live show where it feels like he can make concepts feel a lot more epic than even just how they sound on the uh, on the record. Mm. But yes, I am thinking I'm trying to serve people with this music. I don't yeah. make this so that nobody can hear it. I do make some songs where it's like, this was about me and Jesus. Doesn't really matter. Anybody. <laughs> right. I feel, uh, uh, example that's don't nobody own us. Don't nobody own us. Did not. It's a song from today. Yeah. Rebel. D N O U is what it is on Spotify yeah, yeah. that, that we put a lot of effort behind, but it was kind of a womp, 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 womp. Didn't really resonate with our, uh, our core audience as much. Mm -hmm. I didn't care at all. I made a second <laughs> version of it. <laughs> that song. And I performed that song. I, I was performing it regularly because that was me and Jesus. That that was me saying mm. I belong to nobody, no industry, no no person, no place, yeah. no dollar amount. I belong to Jesus, and I'm gonna keep rapping that as a reminder to me and him. Um, but I, for the most part, I'm making songs that I want to serve people with. So I'm gonna meet with you at this concert. Yeah. So at the concert, I am thinking, what are the kinds of things that would go well? With helping you to feel the weight of what I am. Right, right. And that's the most basic definition of the word glory is weight. It's mm. heaviness. It's like something like you walk Ooh, into a room and glory? feel it on you. Wait and I need my concerts to have weight to them if oh. I'm going to be talking about glory. So I love that, that. That, I'm definitely thinking about that. And that's also what, what got me interested too. My love for fusion, for diverse, di diversity in my, in my experience in my life. But if you think about a lot of the big records, I think about Diddy's song um, about Biggie. You know, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you. Yeah. 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 That's a remake of another song. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. It, it, we, we are, they, they say, uh, Virgil Abloh talked about how that this, this the 5% rule that essentially you take something that's already 95% there and you make it 5% better. And that's mm. the greatness. Or they'll say, good artists borrow, great artists steal. The idea is you're not reinventing the wheel. You're taking what has already resonated with people, making it better, okay? Mm -hmm. Putting your unique spin on it and then giving it back to folks. There's nothing new under the sun. And what I have found is some artists, is one thing about in particular, where they get into this space where they only want to do things that no one has ever heard before. And because that's true, pure art. It yeah. typically doesn't resonate with people. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it becomes a kind of passion project we are we are con we are constantly trying to build upon the back of those who have come before us who are greater, more glorious experience, a glory to glory in our music yeah. that definitely translates into the uh the concerts. Yeah, man. I love that. Um <clears throat> You know, it's funny you said that uh, guy, uh, Ski Match Jordan on Twitter. Uh, that's a guy I've been following him for a while doing his music. Um, and he was reading a book recently uh, called Still Like an Artist. Because yes, at the end of the day, yeah. right, right. At the end, nothing's really original at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, and that's even helped me, you know, with kind of what we do. Because right. it gets a little frustrating trying to compete and trying to do different things. And you don't want to act like you're doing it like somebody else. And it's like, no, 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 it's not about that. This is this formula, and this is what you utilize. Speaking of formula, it was a lot of talk about, oh, KB loves to do the little, you know, little things, and then the drop kind of come, and then he go in. Yeah. that, But that that is a KB formula. Have you ever yeah. thought about, like, ah, maybe I do do this too much? Are you like, no, this is – I know when I'm in the studio and I start worshiping as I'm rapping because that beat hit like that or that drop hit, and I just come in so – angry like i'm kicking doors down yeah. like are you just you know that's that's what it is is that what this is for you absolutely absolutely i i think uh i do what i uh i, I want to make sure that what i'm feeling is good and then i do what i feel yeah and um so that to me that's it, that that moment of taking you through the drama of a song and a beat yeah. dropping uh is almost sacred and uh 
and I've never thought about not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so y'all heard it. Y'all yeah, heard it. Don't get the hopes up. Don't get the He ain't worried about what you're talking about. <laughs> And no, nah, man, I do love that. This I mean, that, that goes back, though, to kind of what Kardec brought up about Drake, how Drake has made a lot of the same styles of oh, yeah. music. Oh, and yeah, he has his niche in his base. Oh, yeah. You it's know? the women. And, and, the women love Drake. Exactly. And so he can, make, he can make these same type of records all the time. And yeah. he's going to have that support. KB has found this lane. He does this. He does it the best. Nobody does it better than him. So why is no. this... He, he's a concert guy. Yeah, right. So, exactly. I mean, literally an entire out. You can perform. That's. You whoa. Can, can, wait can a minute. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold I'll on. let you tell hold me. Hold on. No, no, no. I was just going to say the way that this album is structured, it's you could you the, you can perform this top to bottom, even those mm -hmm. moments of worship of, you know, OK, let's bring it down, bring it here real quick. Yeah. And then it's like, OK, we about to get out of here. Let's go ahead and turn it up for y'all. You know, I. Listening to your album, HGA2, I'm just saying, I, I, I'm i seeing this come through, and it's just Love amazing. It. Hearing you talk, <laughs> hearing you preach, you know what Love I'm saying? It. It, it, It's all in there. It's all in the music. You don't stray from it, man. So I love it. Um, so what are you hoping before, as we're closing out this interview, man, what are you hoping uh, that people really get out of this HGA2 project, man? What are you really hoping that the people kind of connect with, like kind of how... What you want from this, man? What makes this successful for KB? Yeah, I think one, um, if, if people are able to, to walk away um, having seen my wounds, uh, but also seeing their themselves in my story, uh, because that, again, I, I said this before, but that's the area that we all, not everybody knows what it means to, to, to be rich or, or famous. Mm -hmm. Not everybody knows what it is to have access and resources yeah. and to be well-loved. Uh, but uh, we all know what it is to, to, to suffer. Um, it's a pain is a universal language. Um, and, uh, and, I, and I also know that we have the, the potential to feel hope and courage um, and uh, to feel encouraged uh, that, that we can move from pain to promises. And, yeah. and I hope that the album is just a, a, a class, a therapy session mm -hmm. uh, of my own pain, but also the promises of God put on display. So much to believe in, so much to be excited about. Um, if people can walk away with that, that would be success. Love that, man. Speaking yeah. of a uh, class and therapy session, uh, Bud Crawford gave that <laughs> uh, to... Uh, <laughs> Errol Spence, uh, you was pulling for Bud the whole time, man. Did, so did smart it, man. He's so, a smart so, man. Hold on, hold on, but I want to. Did it go the way that you were expecting it to go, or was that kind of you didn't expect that? Well, you know, I'm an armchair prophet, okay? Because you know, I, <laughs> I, I'm good at guessing the gender of people's unborn children. I'm, I'm always right about that. I know and the mamas that, like that. I'm, yeah, and, uh, and then so I'm always right it. about who's going to win a fight. Well, all, you know, I, I'm, I'm a, you know. I'm a, a sometimes prophet, okay? Because okay. sometimes I'm right. <laughs> right, right. I um, but I I said a, a couple weeks ago that I didn't think that this was going to be a hard fight for C Crawford. I thought I didn't think it was going to be easy. That's what yeah. shocked me, right? Because he made it look easy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even though I don't think it was easy, even, even uh, it looked easy, but I don't think it was easy. That was all his hard work, his discipline, his right. game plan, trusting his coaching all that stuff aligning into one. So, so it made it look easy, but I think he was, he was it's so focused. It was still hard work, but I did not think that Errol Spence was going to give him any problems whatsoever. Well, I, I thought that wow. a couple weeks ago, Wow! Uh, because Crawford, in my opinion, is the most complete fighter that we have seen in a long time uh, with the exception of a few guys. Uh, I'll put Andre Ward in there. He can fight mm -hmm. like Andre Ward. He can fight both ways or the yeah. or Southpaw. And he was excellent at both. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To be world class at both fighting stances alone is yeah. amazing. And uh, power in both hands. If he gets in a situation where you're doing something that's giving him problems, he can switch up and do something else. And yeah. that was my concern for, for Spence is that if Crawford figured him out, can he do something else? And, yeah, I don't he, think, I, and, I, and I think he couldn't. Much respect for Spence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Derek James has personally been very, his trainer has personally been very kind to me. 
So ah, I don't be talking up, trash man. about them at all publicly. Yeah. But, but I, 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 I my, my concern for that fight was that Spence does not have the arsenal to make adjustments. He's fought one way, and that one way has been successful his mm-hmm. whole career. But what happens if a guy figures you out and that one way doesn't work, which I thought was going to happen with Crawford? And he was he was exposed. It's like a fish out of water. Part did you did you see it? Because I, I feel like we kind of collectively seen it. We had one guy, our cousin, that was, <laughs> that was holding out. Long, man. He was Leave holding long, out. Man. But I think me and him collectively seen it second round. Like yeah. I, I don't think he's on. I don't think he's on his level. By second round, I was kind of like, you know, this isn't the. This looks like a different type of animal that he's facing. Yes, bro. Yes, yeah. I agree. I totally agree. And Spence May, he's a champ, you know, and, and his career is not over. Somebody's asking in the last interview, do I think his career is over? His career is definitely not over. No, he, he want to go to 154. Yeah. Well, I can't wait. I think he's going to be da- more dangerous uh, after this rematch because yes. now he has to go uh, to a plan B. He, he yes. has to. Um, yes. So I like that. Now, speaking of somebody going to a plan B, uh, you sparred with a uh, CHH uh, artist, if you will. Shouts out to my guy, Stephen Malcolm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, he yeah. said, uh, you know, he said he understood that years of training versus a couple years of training uh, definitely matters. Wait, did he tell y'all that? Yeah, yeah. yeah he said oh, it yeah. definitely it definitely matters. Yeah. Uh, man, how was that? You and him uh, sparring, man. How was that? I mean, it was good. I, I wanted to, we were maybe flirting with maybe doing something together. Yeah. Uh, fighting. Oh, we know. Uh, yeah, yeah, we know. We, we blew it up. Oh, yeah, that's right. And, <laughs> and, and Andy Minio. He's the one that keeps talking about it. But then when I try to press him on him, I put this out. Yeah. Andy Minio, come on, baby. Let's raise some money for some charity. Let's go, Let's sir. Hey, hey, let us commentate, KB. Put it, put us. Hey, we want to be we nice. ringside commentating. Ringside right here. We ringside commentating, man. All right, <laughs> man. I'm getting you. Hey, I'm getting you out on this one, man. I could I could do that, could, could do that <laughs> Come on, man. I'm getting I'm getting you out of here on this one, man. Who 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 what? was the tough? Who was the tougher out, Stephen Malcolm or Chad Johnson? Chad Ochocinco. So Chad can actually fight. Chad ah, okay, okay. A, a fruit, and I'm not saying that Stephen Malcolm can't. No, fight. no, no, right, no. Right, but right, I, right. no, we get what you're saying. But yeah. he has a lot. He has a lot more experience, um, and and he's been in our fighting camp. He's not in it right now, but he's still trained by uh, by uh, Gary uh, Nagel, the, the uh, my my trainer. Yeah. But uh, I've sparred uh, Chad Ochocinco a few times. We we've done some 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 light work. And he's yeah. pretty good, man. He's pretty good. I'll let you tell. I'll, I'll let you ask him how it went when we when we, when we sparred. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Hey, look. Now you got to get. Ocho's hey. dangerous, man. Ocho's dangerous. Like, now you got to get him on the show. Right. Now, now you got to get him on. Hey, 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 KB. Now you got to get you got to get Ocho <laughs> Cinco on the show, man. KB. Ask him what happened when he sparred KB. Okay. Hey, like yeah, I said, right. get. Get Ocho Cinco on the show, and we're going to ask him, all right? For sure, for sure. Let's go, man. Hey, y'all know what it is, man. It's a Crooniverse interview with KB, the man, the myth, the legend. You know what I'm saying? We are uh, Mama Burgess legends as well. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it in, baby. Yeah, we we good, man. Hey, we appreciate you for coming through, man. We are, Yeah, it it really is. Um, The funny thing is, is that when we interviewed you the first time, it was just before May Pack. So... Uh, literally just before, yeah. like weeks yeah. before May Pack. Mm, so now we're interviewing wow. just after dope, uh, Spence man. Crawford. Like it. It's kind of crazy. I like it. Yeah, yeah, man. So, yeah, the way the guy worked this out is really amazing, man. But, again, we appreciate you. You already know who it is, what it is, and what we do, baby. It's your boy, Jay. This is Chris. And uh, it's on. You don't even need an exclusive when you got the exclusive. You feel me? Let's yes, go. Man.